You know, the Central West End was the perfect fit, I think, because of the history involved. You know, when, when, when people have out-of-town guests, where are you going to take them to Central West End? This is the heart of St. Louis, and it has been for, for a long time now. And to be part of that, that history and, and that, this community is, is pretty, it's pretty awesome, for sure. It, it was a no-brainer when this spot was available. I was like, that's a whiskey house. That's where it needs to be. St. Louis will respond. This is the best corner as far as I'm concerned, the Central West End. To have lunch at Euclid in Maryland in spring and summer and fall, I think it's going to be fantastic. Gamblins came up with this wonderful idea of putting the most aggressive pricing and the most aggressive list of bourbon, scotches, and whiskeys in all the country. And they said, Ivy, go plan a menu. Anything um, it comes out of this restaurant that's good, odds are Gilberto's had his hands on it in some part of the process. He's, he's, he's too humble to two his own horn, but definitely a, a culinary driving force behind uh, the gambling restaurant group. There's a comforting factor when I get stuck. He's not afraid to come to me and say, it needs citrus, it needs fat, it needs color, height, whatever it is. He, he's, he's, I think he's my, my, my worst critic and, um, and my, my biggest inspiration, and I think that's, that's why it works, honesty and trust. Well, I originally actually went to school, uh, I went to college to be a CPA, and I was working in a restaurant at night and going to school during the day, and I dreaded class, and I could not wait to get to work. You know, it's one of those things, um, I had two grandmothers that were excellent cooks. My mother was an excellent cook, so I, I can't remember a time that I wasn't in the kitchen helping out in some capacity. So at that point, I realized I didn't want to dread the rest of my life, so I packed up shop and I went to culinary school. One thing that we take a lot of pride in is inviting guests into our home. There's certain times where you don't want to leave your home, where you can't leave your business. And that's when a food peddler comes in and he delivers the same customer service that we think we can control within these four walls. He's an extension of that. And this company and this service they provide um, really makes us look better. We're able to spread our, our flavor, our menu, our philosophies through the food peddler. And I think that's an excellent way and an excellent representation of what we're trying to accomplish here. St. Louis in the past 15 years, the education of the guests, they come in and they're no longer apprehensive. They're, it's, it's a lot more aggressive than I think um, other cities view us. I think we have a lot of wonderful chefs here in St. Louis, a lot of wonderful restaurant owners. I think what makes Gambling Group so successful is the approachability of the people, the food, the concepts. And I think St. Louis is ready for a, a whiskey concept. Um, it's sexy, it's cool, it's fun. When somebody comes in and says, I don't like whiskey, you just don't know which whiskey you like. Let, let us, we, we've got the largest selection in all the country, we'll find one that you enjoy. Have a sip of the whiskey, have a bite of food, and then revisit the whiskey again and see how the flavor profiles have changed. That's a really cool thing to partner with the guests and say, trust us, let us take you on this culinary adventure, let us take you on this, this whiskey ride.